Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably notice, I'm a redhead now. Just kidding, it's a wig. <laughs> you probably knew that from the title or something, but if you didn't come into this video knowing it was a wig, would you think it was? Let me know in the comments below if you think this looks natural or if it looks really wiggy. I'm curious to know your opinions. And what do you think about the red color? I have dyed my hair, like my actual hair, red in the past, like a few years ago. And I really liked it. Being a redhead is like the second best thing to being a blonde. I feel like redheads have a lot of fun too. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I dyed my wig this red color. So basically how I took it from this blonde color to this color right here. It's probably going to be pretty simple, just uh, straightforward how I dyed the wig and what my process was. So I got this wig from Best Lace Wigs. I'll link the exact wig I got down below. And I also have a couple other, well I have like two other videos about this wig, so I have an unboxing so you can see what this wig looked like straight from the box. And I have another video on how I made the hairline look a little bit more natural versus like that thick, wiggy doll hair look. So let me know if this looks good to you guys. Um, so I'll link those down below if you want to check that out as well. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how I dyed this wig from the original blonde color like this to this color here. It's uh, pretty simple, but I'm just going to show you the process that I went through. And yeah, let's get started. Hello, that's me. Just showing you the wig. So I put it on to the styrofoam head so it'll be easier to dye. Um, and this is the color I'm going to be using from L'Oreal. Obviously, write it down in the description so you can find the exact color if that's what you're looking for. They have a really nice um, red hair collection. So I'm just showing you, this is how I mix it. I pour it into the bottle first to shake it, and then I'll put it in the bowl. And life hack, okay, so this is a stool from Ikea, and I found out that the hole on the bottom of the styrofoam head would fit onto the stool. So. Yeah, if you can find something like that to put your head on, like your styrofoam head on, it makes it so much easier because then it doesn't move around and you can really get at it. Okay, so the way I start is I work section by section from the bottom. So I just take a small section like that and then I'll start working in the hair dye. And make sure to get the bottoms and underneath. And then when I get to the top, I like to put all the hair off to one side and then start from the opposite side. Oh, and here I got some, <laughs> some uh, what's it called, dye on the lace. I was freaking out. I'll show you that later in the video. Oh yeah, sorry if my voice sounds like a little uh, sick because <laughs> I am sick, but let's ignore that. So yeah, I'll just take section by section and go through. And then when we get to the top of the head or near the hairline, this is where I feel like you have to be really careful as to not dye the lace. So as you can see here, I'm taking a good amount, but I'm not bringing it all the way down to the root. So I'll kind of put it in the middle of the hairline, and then when I get to the root, I'll um, take lighter strokes. And then once there's like less color on the brush, I'll kind of brush through the roots a little more lightly. I'm still saturating the hair, but I'm just being very careful not to drop anything on the actual lace. So that's what I'm doing here. So as you can see, I'm being a little bit more light-handed, a little bit more gentle once I get to the actual root area. Just showing you over there as well. And so I just washed it all out, and this is what it looks like fresh out of the shower. Just giving you a look, and as you can see, there is no hair dye on the lace. And this is the final look on. I'm really liking this color. So this is the final color. So I probably, okay, I'm just going to show you the parting here. So you can see the blonde roots. And you can kind of see it here as well. I probably could have pulled the red down a little bit lower, but honestly, I, I think it's fine. For this bright spot is just because... Um, of where the highlights are placed, there's like literally, I should take off the wig and show you, there's literally polka dots. Don't mind my hair, but I just wanted to show you what the inside looked like. So here, let me just kind of flip it around. So this is all 
dyed red. You can see the splotches. This is the back of the head. Oh, and I guess I did get some on the front, too. There's a little spot there, but oh well. Um, I was mainly concerned about there's some spots, like, by the actual hairline. I really didn't want that. So, overall, it turned out pretty good. And then I think you can kind of see there the polka dots that I was talking about in the lace. And I don't know how they made it, but in every one of those polka dots, that's where the highlight color comes through. So I'm not really too sure if that's like how they plan it or how the actual process of making the wig goes, but all those polka dots are like the highlighted pieces. So you can kind of see, actually I don't know if you can really pick it up on the camera, but like those brighter pieces, those are all like the highlight pieces because this wig has about maybe three different colors in it. And then if you look at the parting, I actually, I thought that was one of the polka dots, but it's not. What that is, is the actual band right here. So you can see that through the parting, which I don't totally love, but, um, yeah, the parting is something I'm going to keep working on. I think I just need to, like, move my wig cap closer or I don't know I'm gonna figure something out I'll let you guys know if I do something but it's not that bad but it needs some work but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that <laughs> yeah so it gives it like this little bright spot here and then my wig cap is back here so don't mind the actual like parting I'm just trying to show you the blonde rooting but I'm happy with the way it turned out because I was just really nervous about dyeing the actual lace red. I really didn't want to have to go through that and like go through the process of removing the color and all that stuff. So that's why I, you know, left that room there with the blonde rooting. Because in the back where I didn't really care so much about the rooting or anything like that because you don't see it because I'm not going to part my hair all the way down. But if I did part my hair all the way down, like in the back, you would see that the lace is dyed red and it looks weird, right? I mean, in the back it looks fine because it makes your hair like, I don't know, you don't really see it, but if I had like a red parting here, that would look really weird and it would just be a hassle to deal with, so I'm really glad that I didn't have to deal with that. I've seen videos where you can just use hair color remover on the lace and that will get it out, but it just seemed like so much hassle, so I'm glad I didn't have to go through that. So yeah, tip for you, just be very careful around the roots if you're dyeing your wig, especially like a darker color. So yeah, overall, I am very pleased with how it turned out. If you guys have any questions about dyeing wigs or anything like that that you want to ask me, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. I'm trying to make more videos, so it'd be awesome if you guys could stick around. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!